Hi everyone and welcome to Calm Creations. My name is Tia and today I thought I would do a quick um, flip through of my uh, stitchy journal which I've just given it a makeover um, and it's all set for the remainder of the year. So I thought I would go through um, how I made it and show you the inside of it. So I've made the cover um, I'm part of a Facebook group called um, Happiness and Crafting and the, they've got a YouTube channel which I watch and she does all sorts of paper crafts and got a beautiful style which I absolutely love. Um, I'll link all those things below. <clears throat> But if you're part of the Facebook group, every Friday they release a new Friday freebie. So all of the things that are in my planner are from, all the images are from the Facebook group. So you need to be a member, you need to answer the questions to join. Um, and so what I did was I took my, it's a disc-based um, planner system and so I took my the measurements from my original classic happy planner and I've um, ma made a template in Photoshop and I resized the images to fit the template um, for my planner so uh, that's what I've done there and then I've just printed them um, on my home printer and uh, printed them double-sided you'll see those in a minute and then um, I've laminated the covers so the words that um, Tia Stitchy stuff that I cut out on my silhouette uh, so I just used a font and cut it out that's um, permanent vinyl but that's underneath the laminate so um, that's that part so when we open it um, we have so that's the inside cover and then enjoy every moment so I made all the tabs dividers I've just printed them on the printer cut them out using my corner rounder I made all the little tabs um, and glued those on so the first one is uh, whip journal so with the whip journal I made some pages um, based on the journal that the Fat Quarter Shop have. So I designed it in Photoshop and printed it and that's what I use for my whip journal. So that's my cross stitch journal, the cover. So excuse all the coming through, that's the highlighter. So that's just the cover page. Now on the back of every divider I've used the same um, print so I've printed it on thick cardstock and I haven't laminated the dividers I've left those because they're quite quite thick so I don't need to laminate those but on the back side of all of the dividers is the same um, print so journal here is a list of excuse all the mess um, all of my whips, some are finished, some um, are not, that list actually isn't updated, but anyway, so that's the inside. And then you go to the project pages, which I um, just fill in notes and information and any changes that I've made to... Um, you know the floss colors or, or um, anything like that so I've printed these little photos using my sprocket HP sprocket photo printer but they no longer make the um, paper the little print paper for them so I know that they don't now for my size but you can get another a bigger size and I'm pretty sure they don't make it for that one either. I'm not 100% sure. I've only got the smaller one. So, 
um, so that goes right through um, you know all of my um, my whips with all the information that I need so then this is a running whip list so this has got all of my whips dates um, designers and any you know start date finish date FFO date um, and then there's some on that list that I have UFO that I'm no longer working on that I've put away maybe one day I will get them back out and um, work on them so then we have floss tube so this is my floss tube section um, again I've printed the digital paper from happiness and crafting group and resized it and cut them out to fit my planner so we flip over there now this is the once I'm done with that week I just fold it over and um, move on to the next new one so this is my floss tube information um, notes that I take and I have this with me when I film my uh, floss tube videos so finishes whips haul and shout outs and then I just write any notes and then on the back is just a notes page and then once it's done I just fold it so that's floss tube and then we go to challenges um, and of course it's a good day to have a good day and that's every day so that is that pay that divider and then this is challenges so this is where I keep any information um, or notes about any challenges stitchy challenges that I'm taking part in that I um, need to keep up to date with so first of all we've got whip go so I've got my whip go board not doing very well at the moment with whip go but we'll get back into that um, so again I just designed that in Photoshop printed it and um, stuck it on some heavy cardstock so that's that one um, and these are just notes about the challenges um, that I have printed off so for example I'll show you the letters of them and I just print them on um, A4 and then I just fold them in so this is the letters of the month so um, now all the pages are there so that's that one now we've got sales and hashtags so because I always forget um, I need to keep a list of all the sales and hashtags that I use um, for challenges and um, group um, stitching and, and things like that so um, that's what this section is so I've made again in Photoshop a um, a page that I just print and write down all the details um, for the sales and hashtags that I'm doing so there's the plain one there now these black dots these are from my old printer um, it, it's a mono, mono something printer and it only prints black and white it doesn't print color but I've since um, got a new printer and so I won't have that issue anymore so that's sales and hashtags uh, stitch tracker create your own happiness so that's this divider now this is a little printable I found on Pinterest and it serves absolutely no purpose other than it's cute and I like colouring in so every day excuse me uh, every day I colour in what day um, 
I've stitched. So, so far I've stitched every single day. Um, and that's been fun, you know. So that's that. And this is my stitch tracker. So I put the week that I'm stitching um, and the amount that day. And then I have a running total. I also keep it um, in a spreadsheet on my computer. Um, so that I've got two copies. So that's my stitch tracker. It's very simple. Um, so that's that. And then we've got stitchy shopping. So I track any purchases, shipping dates, amounts, where I've bought them from, just so I know um, if I need to go back and buy something else or... So stitchy shopping. Um, I also keep any little bits that they may send in the post. So all threads embroidery, um, JK's cross stitch supplies, threaded needle, that's a loyalty card, that's a business card, and then so it all Australia. So I just keep those um, in there so I know where they are. Um, and then we have got stitchy notes. So in here is just um, anything stitchy related that I need to remember. I've got a wish list. I've got um, other bits and pieces. Uh, if we do swaps, I've got addresses, um, anything like that. So that is there. So that's my little wish list. I haven't got very much at the moment but I'm sure there will be more. So that is those. And that's just on Happy Planner note paper. <clears throat> I'm going to have to edit that out. Um, so then I've got extra um, dividers that I've made um, because there, chances are there will be more stuff that I need to put in. Um, be the reason someone smiles today. Just a plain one. Uh, be patient, be loving, be kind, be gentle. And a plain one. And another one. And then we get into my weekly planning. So this is a planner. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it all on screen. And maybe if I move some of this out of the way scoot that across a bit. Anyway, you get the idea. So this was taken out of another um, planner that I had and what I've written on these dates are the dates that I started each project. So when that date rolls around um, I know to stitch on that project on their birthday. So um, June, so coming up on Sunday is Home of a Needleworker, so that tells me on Sunday I'm going to stitch on Home of a Needleworker because I started it on the 6th of June, and then again the same with Outlander, which is um, on the 22nd. So that just helps me keep a, a running track of all my bits and pieces. Right, so I'll move this back over. Then we've got some sticky notes. Um, and then we go into the weekly and monthly um, planning. So for June, we have, this is the monthly overview, I think it's called, I can't remember. Um, I bought an undated Happy Planner because I know that I don't always plan every week and I didn't want to waste those pages. Um, if I didn't plan that week and I can still reuse them another week. So that's those ones. So down the side I put um, the challenges that I'm doing. So WIPGO, uh, the two numbers for WIPGO are number 1 and number 17. Now I have finished A Good Marriage so I'm going to um, choose another piece so just make it a free choice. Um, and then One Strand a Night, which I'm doing on a Facebook group. So that will be um, Snow Queen. 
and then I've filled in the two birthday whips so on the 6th and the 22nd and then we've got the whip go weekend where you focus on uh, the two pieces that are drawn for that month so excuse all the white out uh, and then we go to the so that's the month of June and then we go to the weekly uh, spread so I've decorated it a little bit um, I haven't filled anything in well only home of a needleworker um, but this is where I put all my stuff that I need to do for the week so and today this month so the first um, of June is uh, the first day of winter which I absolutely love winter um, so hence the winter themed spread for this week and then next week of course they're all blank until uh, I get to them then we've got July August and September so I only keep four months in at a time just so it's not too bulky um, and then that's that so that's pretty much it um, post-it notes if I need them um, and then yeah it's it's a very simple but um, productive planner so I'm very happy and it works for me it may not work for everybody but um, yeah so thank you very much um, for joining me I'll put the links for those uh, for that uh, YouTube channel on um, in the description box so if you're interested in heading along and having a look at um, the digital freebies um, she does lots of tutorials um, and yeah if you want to join the Facebook group um, the link is in her um, on her videos so yeah head on over and have a look so thank you very much for joining me and have a safe and happy remainder of the week today's Thursday so we're nearly at the weekend uh, happy stitching happy crafting and we will see you all again soon thanks bye